Hey guys, this is Travis with Beyond Bipolar Blog. Today I'm going to do a reaction video to a video I came across on YouTube. He goes by the ID Daydreamer. And the title he has is Nothing is Permanent, Life is Meaningless. After going through the comments, it seems pretty, pretty negative. So I want to just see what this guy has to say. It seems like he's given up in life and it feels like it's useless and things like that so let's get started so today today was a real eye-opener for me uh it really made me see the way life really is uh every, everything is temporary nothing in this life is permanent and that includes everyone in your life um the only people i view as permanent are my family members um and even they're not permanent you know they're gonna die someday <clears throat> you gotta accept the fact that I'm gonna Most speed this up comes since into it's such a long video. I'll probably go to 1.25 here. We'll be out of your life at some point. You know, your friends, they're temporary. Your girlfriends, love interests, they're temporary. Your roommates, they're temporary. You know, your, your roommates are gonna move out. Or in my case, they'll relapse get kicked out um i've never met a single person in my life who has stayed i've every single person i've met in my life is gone speeding it up again know? either by death or by choice some of those deaths were a choice uh Granted, I know the life that I've lived has awarded me uh, loneliness. You know, I made a choice to put drugs before people, therefore people aren't around anymore. I know I did that to myself. I just want to say, I don't know if you've seen my previous video, but my dad's cousin... He committed suicide 16 years ago and maybe just a couple days ago, maybe a week ago, the son ended up committing suicide. He was only like uh, in his uh, late 30s. So imagine that drugs are actually the center of the drama here. Now for the son, my dad tried to get him to get on a better path but it seems like he was always struggling with drugs and because of that i am assuming that he doesn't get mental health now for me most people with addictions i believe they have a tendency to put addictions first and for me i never had an addiction primarily because i didn't want to be dealing with something and ever since i was young i always been pretty healthy with my um physical health and well-being that I didn't want to do any drug altering drugs kind of surprising when I'm on medications that I strongly promote but in a nutshell drugs can be really bad for you and really toxic it's sad to see that these people who are on drugs have a tendency to put drugs first over family friends and other networks that are part of them especially mental health connections I feel it's unfortunate that this guy committed suicide and he probably was at a point where nothing is permanent and life is meaningless. But, even so, you know, today really made me, today's been a fucked up day. You know, my roommate who I got closest to is gone. He's at the fucking hospital right now and he's kicked out of the house. Every girl that I've had an interest with or... Girlfriends, they're all gone. I don't talk to them. Uh, every person I've ever gotten attached to is gone. I don't talk to them. You know, some of that's my fault. <laughs> I mean, a large part of it is my fault. You know, I don't really reach out either. You know, that's kind of a 
it's kind of a two-way street, you know. I don't know. This is just a thought that I had today. You know, I can't, all the time I try to hold on to everything that means so much to me. I have such a hard time letting it go. And when it's fading away and I can't get a grip on it to hold it close, I fall into a depression. But after what happened today, I, I see so clearly now that nothing lasts forever. Not friendships, not relationships, not even family lasts forever. Not even you. I don't last forever, you don't last forever. One day, a hundred years from now, none of us are gonna mean anything, you know? When we die, the people who are around, who care about us, will hold us in their hearts and will exist for just a little bit longer in their memories, and then they'll die. And then it'll be as if you never existed, you know, most of us anyway. What's your take on having a negative viewpoint that life is temporary and friends don't stay around, family doesn't stick around, relationships don't stick around, you go to well, addictions? or I just wanted to, to make a little statement about Jeremy, honestly. It's really weird. I know my brother already addressed this with his music uh, piano video with it. Honestly, it's a, even though we were, I was not close to him, but it honestly has been really affecting me because I feel like... It could have been me. It could have been my brother. It's it was really something I actually had to agree, which is weird because I wasn't even that close to him. I made a bunch of posts about him, but it made me think about suicide as well. And it honestly it didn't make me feel very good. I think sometimes the negativity is hard to. I think it's important to discuss the negativity some in in a balanced way. So what do you what do you what do you think about when when you feel like nothing is permanent that everything just dies and goes away and just that's holds that's in your... that's true but then that makes you want to appreciate the the short time lived because if if everything was like all perfect and and sunshine and ray, rainbows there would be no room for growth sometimes I feel like death even though as it's painful and loss it helps you to grow and make room for other things in your life that you may not know about. Sometimes this world's weird. My my buddy is going through, had a really bad breakup. She pretty much went all against him and, uh, and is pretty much doing defamation. And in his mind, he feels like, and I told him, maybe there's something else still better out for him. So even if everything seems all hopeless or bleak, Something can grow from the ashes. I truly believe in that. Even if it feels like you want to end your life, even if you're really depressed. I mean, I've been really depressed about Jeremy the past three days. I actually thought about the, the suicide, and, and it's really affected me really negatively, honestly. And I felt horrible because it made me reflect on my life. And, hey, what if I kill myself? And then I was kind of afraid about that. Or if my brother kills himself, I was afraid about that. I almost, I almost feel like since life is temporary... That it makes you want to try harder. Try harder because you're not always gonna be here. Well, you're not gonna be they there. Say, for your they family say they say you need to have challenges in order to live a more beneficial life. You gotta challenge yourself. You gotta work for something. If you don't work for anything, you're pretty much just lay there like a slug. And in order to to grow, you kind of have to have some challenges. Granted, it's horrible when you have to go through a lot of shit and life is hard and you don't want to live. And, but there always is a two flip sides of the coin. Just because something seems bleak, maybe there's a lesson out of it. Maybe there, you can grow stronger. Maybe what I fully believe is you can actually help people overcome struggles. That's why I feel like people struggle so they can actually help others. I almost think like having a bleak point in life just makes you feel worse. So it just doesn't benefit you in a way. It doesn't, but it's important to, to validate the feeling because it can be true but you got to be really careful. If you're at that point, it's maybe time to seek help. And actually, that's why I realize that I'm. I, it's time for me to start seeing a therapist as well because I think the suicide has been really affecting me. And it's about... With my buddy's uh, ex, she refuses to get help. She refuses to do anything. She's just going to follow the endless cycle of, of damaging every, any other else. Everyone else. But... Sometimes death and loss is weird because it really does make you appreciate things. Sometimes you can't stand a person person when they're alive, but when they're gone, it kind of affects you. 
it it it, it kind of heals people in a way because you realize wow life is short so do you, should i be holding on to these so do you be alive with life has to come the cycle of death or do you believe it's, in it's immortality inevitable. it's an it's inevitable sometimes death can doesn't death just think bring, about doesn't just think death, about doesn't death bring new life yeah, just think about when when people burn grass, they do so because so they could bring more life. It's it's all about balance. All right? You gotta you gotta do something pretty amazing to live forever. You know, music artists they'll live forever. You know, public figures they'll live forever. Sports players they'll live forever. But the average Joe, like me and you. Not, you know, not even a hundred years from now, you know, well, probably a hundred years from now. Uh, that's a really bad state. I, I don't know. That's that statement. He's comparing apples and oranges. I will guarantee you people who are famous, who have it all, who claim they have it all, really don't have it all. They may have the attention. They may have the luxury, but I guarantee it. They're struggling with something just as much. It's, it's. Being famous is is a lot of responsibility. You got to watch what you do. Always under the radar, and who knows? Maybe they don't have good family. So maybe it's you, pretty all, much all a fake. Why so do you think he had apples and oranges there? I don't know. If why I do agree you think with that Chester statement. Bennington and yep, all and those famous people: Robin Williams, Chester Bennington, uh, the guy Soundgarden, from Soundgarden, uh, Chris Cornell. Why do you think they committed suicide when they're rich exactly. and famous and so can be legends? It's, it's and I guess people could say, then, what's the point of anything if if there's nothing to even live for? What's the point? You can have all the fame, all the money, then what's the point? Because you see, all happiness is, it's nothing external. It's all, it's all internal. It has to come from within. It doesn't matter how much you have. It doesn't have, matter how much you... Uh, anything. It's it's about finding that stable grounding within yourself without requiring money, without requiring a relationship, without requiring uh, fame. It, it all has to come within. That And that's the power of strength. Our great-grandchildren, either our great-grandchildren or our great-great-grandchildren will know nothing about us. And even if they do know stuff about us, you know, they would never have met us, so they won't care enough to you know, talk about you. I don't talk about my great grandma <laughs> or great grandpa. You know, they're gone. At the same time, the great without the great grandpa, you wouldn't even be. See, this is what depression does. It kind of blur. It it, it kind of lies to you. It makes you think everything's meaningless. There's no there's no point in life. The world's just horrible. But again, there's always two flip sides of the coin. When there exists death and loss and and pain there also exists happiness fulfillment and love so i feel like this guy probably has i don't want to call it a mental disorder because it's you got to be really careful with those labels he's it's about the pro he's it's the power of, of thought and he, he has addiction to drugs though so so that makes things well just because someone's addicted to drugs doesn't mean their life is meaningless that's why I'm, that's why i'm continuing to interact occasionally with my ex who went through a drug addiction she's done a lot of damage at the same time i feel like she she does deep down understand what she's done and in the end you want to b b believe and hope that there exists hope for people i mean look uh, another uh, famous guy that i've been watching is russell brand and he made he turned his life around he, he's been actually helping people and making a whole bunch of videos on on the psychology of people and society and he was a drug addict, and if he could do fine, so can he. Oh, they never, they, they've never existed, and that's life. Everything is forgotten. Nothing is temporary. Everything is meaningless. That's the way I see it. Nothing means anything. All you can do is do your best. You know, maybe you'll make an imprint on this world, but... There's a spiritual component about being lonely, but in the end, maybe none of us are really alone because in a way, if you believe in the energy, spiritual matter, we're all connected in some way. So even if this guy is not connected with the, the fame or the fortune, he's still connected with someone.
whether it's his parents, even if he's not in a good relationship, I don't know. But he's always he, he always impacts some something. Whether if you're in a job, I mean, making these videos, I mean, hell, I guess he's impacted us in a way because we're talking about it. So I don't know. It's really late. I'm just fucking thinking right now. I just can't stop thinking. Um, and it's not depressing to me, you know, to have this realization that nothing means anything. Eventually, everything, you know, I mean, life is meaningful. But at the same time, it's meaningless because, like, yeah, a hundred years from now, it'll be as if we'd never stepped foot on this earth. <laughs> but that's fine. Nothing has to mean anything. It's okay for life to not have a point. You know, it's okay for life to just be life. It's okay to not. I don't know. I was sad to see my roommate go, but I accept that that's a part of life, you know? That is a uh, thing I am well familiar with. I think he just had drug addiction. It's seeing someone walk out and never seeing him again. I he was evicted. I don't know. Late night thoughts. <laughs> Sorry if this depressed you a little bit, but... Does this depress just, you? I hate to say it. I hate to say it. I know that drug addiction can be considered a mental illness. At the same time, I know it's going to piss people off. It's not an excuse. Drugs will only make your life worse. Drugs it really is only a symptom and it numbs the pain. It's not going to make your life any better. So in a way, this guy had a choice to still do drugs, to not change his life, to to not... I don't, I'm assuming he never went to a therapist. I assume he never went to a psychiatrist. I assume he never reached out. So, in the end, this guy has no responsibility for this guy's death, but it, it was the guy alone to take responsibility to help change his life. So, in a way, it's a really damaging thought process that to think that you're powerless when you're not. Even if things are hard, you always have a power of choice, even if you don't like the choices that are in front of you. Something I wanted to say. It's not depressing to me. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with, you know. I'm fine with nothing being permanent. I'm fine with life not having a purpose. Everyone wants them. Everyone wants life to have a purpose. Everyone wants there to be a meaning to life. But in my opinion, there is no meaning to it. We are a giant accident, you know. We are the product of perfect conditions. And See, isn't that kind of interesting, though? We are a product of, of perfect conditions because look how hard life has been created to create the right chemicals, create to create the right time and, and format of life itself. That's why we haven't found any life out there because the universe is so big, yet you realize it's so rare. Because of that, because of this rarity, despite it being hard to survive, despite it hard to, to being alive, Life is really rare, and it is something to hold on to. And in my opinion, I think this guy's kind of delusional in his depressive thoughts. Sure, it's affecting him. Otherwise, he wouldn't be making this video at all. I know the, the, the his death of his friend does affect him, and that's why he's thinking this way. That's all. Yep. <laughs> okay, bye. It looks right. like he's laughing with tears. So, so I don't know if he's really being honest with his true self. So I figure that... This guy's daydreamer. I'll give you guys a link. Are you struggling to grow on Instagram? I mean, he has 36 subscribers. I assume he'd want to. I assume he'd so... want to grow his channel. Um, let's just look at the comments. With the way this society has been set up, I don't think I'd like to live forever. Life sucks. It's useless and meaningless. Boring life. The only absolute knowledge attainable by man is that life is meaningless. I feel everything that you're saying here because it is a brutal, honest truth of what will happen. Even though it is all meaningless, we can still live in the present moment while we can and while it lasts. Don't do your best. Just be you because there is only one life to be it. Best to you and all watching. Light bars and I just want to close my eyes and forget that it exists. Life is meaningless unless you give it meaning. Yes, you get it. Spiritual growth. I disagree with people who live on forever. Even if you're famous or whatever reason, it may take a little long, but you'll still be forgotten one day. Appreciate the video, brother. Think I've been feeling this way 
a while too. Life has no inherent meaning for me and nobody I've ever met can dissuade me from the mindset. Another thing to remember is that most people only want to know us while they're getting something from us with expectation of family who tends to love unconditional. But for the most part, there's an agenda, whether there be partners, friends, etc. What do you think? Any information sticks out or you just want to end it here or... There's a lot of people. There's that, a lot of people that actually say it's true, but I I want to encourage you, thinking these negative thoughts. Uh, you know, feeling tact, it and it'll... choosing it, you're gonna get back. For someone saying that life is boring, well, what have you done to make things that your life less boring? Have you tried to travel? Have you tried to go out of your comfort zone? Have you ever tried to do something different? People do have a choice to do that. I mean, granted, sometimes I feel stuck. Sometimes I feel hopeless. But this is just only a, a temporary period of time. Things can change. That's the thing. That's the amazing thing about life and time. That and because that nothing lasts forever is that something things can change. There's always a, a two sort of the of the same coin here. So if something was all bad, you don't you don't want to live forever. Because if something's all bad, you don't want to be living in bad forever. At the same time. Just because something's not good forever, there could exist bad, but you have to ex realize that the bad doesn't always last forever. I just want to say a lot of people seem to relate to this because this guy has like 2,000 views and it's been under a year. I've had my video up for two years and only has 4,000 views, so a lot of people can relate to this. I just want to give my advice and my two cents. If you think life is meaningless... That's yes, okay. at that time, it's okay. I will take the non-judgmental stance that people feel this way. But in the long run, it can be really damaging for your thought process because I feel like if you take the step where life is meaningless, you might not so actually you think, be willing so to grow. So you think in the end, it doesn't matter what people attain. It's the power they're actually thinking way beforehand. It has nothing, you it has in nothing, power of positivity. In reality, in reality, it has nothing to do about the physical element. It has to do without your internal well-being. And your internal well-being is not intrinsic of your physical well-being. So it's not. So really, it's your the thought process is is with you for a long time, but the physical reality isn't. And that is something I accept because my dad is gonna pass away someday, and you know he isn't gonna be there. But I feel like the memory of me living on is enough for me to understand that death does bring life. Light brings death. And they're bringing new opportunities. One, you can find relationships. You can find love. You can travel. You can make money. You could. The the thing people realize, although life lasts seems like forever, it's really not. It it's actually really super short. You see that the humans really only live like a certain percentage of the, of time. Same with the dinosaurs, and they all got wiped out. So in the end, we're living this really rare, time. And period of life, and I think it's something that maybe it's something what is, that people what need some, to embrace. What is some advice that you can give me or someone else that feels like life well, is meaningless? I've been I've been down. I've been feeling like like shit, but I know deep down, it's not about the current feeling that you're feeling now, but what could be, what 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 I when I could be happy if I if I could. Uh, live my dreams it's always the the there always exists hope that's what it's about instilling hope that there's hope that there's something better out there yeah people could say maybe you're just chasing a, a figment in the wind but even so it gives you the courage the the discipline and and time to actually work and do something maybe it's about finding your passion maybe it's just about in the end it's not just about finding your passion, though. It's about what the advice I can give is about living in the present moment. Just look at your, sit yourself in the environment. You're alive. You might not feel that great. Life sometimes sucks, but hey, you're alive. You're making it. And let go of anything bad that happened in the past. Don't worry about what's going to happen in the future. Just worry about at this moment of time, today only. Who knows? You never know. Maybe you might die tomorrow. Maybe you might have cancer tomorrow. Maybe you might lose a loved one tomorrow. You never know. But 
don't don't uh obsess about the life and death thing just worry about what's don't even worry just live about what you're gonna do in the moment and if it's nothing that's fine if it's something great sometimes you just have to accept these negative feelings don't judge yourself be kind to yourself and again just because the present seems to be bad doesn't mean it can't change in the future. And I 100% believe in that. My one last statement is this too shall pass. So reality is this might be something that was just a temporary feeling. I don't know if this guy is continuing down this path. But I do hope, wish him the best. Anyways, this is Beyond Bipolar Blog signing off. With this Kyle is with Travis. Travis and Kyle. Kyle's my brother. He sometimes joins me on some of the recruits for the videos but anyways please like comment and subscribe hit the bell button I if just, you want to see some more videos i just wanted to make a, a quick statement to jeremy klein uh i pray f i i think about you brother it makes me feel really down that you actually died of an overdose it could have been like i said i think about my friend who is a, a drug addict i think about myself you know, I could have been a drug addict and just die. I could be just suicide. That, that that really could be me. And like Dad says, it only hurts. Suicide's the only way out, whether that's true or not. I just know there's something more for me. And I'm sorry that life was so painful that you couldn't live and live a healthier life. And he left behind a daughter and a family. And like my brother said, his dad ended up killing himself too. And so in the end, he continued that cycle. And I thought to myself, what if we continue that cycle? And you don't want to do that. It it, it, it hurts, bro. I, 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 I wish the best to you up in the clouds and, and your family. And I, and I hope uh, uh, you li try to live your life at the, as the best as you could. And, and you did all you could. All right, peace. Take care. Bye.